guys, it's UW. Welcome back to my channel. Coming to you guys again with that review for the AliExpress cranberry hair that I had also already mentioned in an open box um, a few weeks back. This is about a two week to two week and a couple of days um, into this hair. I did take a trip with it, which I'm also going to upload and have you guys watch. And I'm going to leave the link down below when I do that. Um, I took a trip out of country and this hair did go through a bit of a situation um so that being said i'm gonna be uploading some of the videos of uh, some of the things that went through like such, such as freezing um it's first wash and it's first flat iron or second flat iron i'm sorry with myself um yes i do very minimal heat because hair lasts longer it's less damage yada yada point of the matter is this is the hair now. It is to get again the 26, 26, 24 inches and a 20 inch closure. I don't remember if it came pre plucked. I want to say it didn't. My cousin ended up plucking it and adding the baby hairs on. Bam. Um, so I'm just going to do a little stand for you guys so you guys can see how it is now. So, um, yeah, that's just for the whole length purposes of showing you guys that. Um, <clears throat> one of the biggest cons uh, I did talk about with the open box was the flyaways. Um, yeah, I just kept talking about them. <laughs> um, actually having the hair installed and working with it now, I kind of realized that it's not that big of a deal, like, literally at all, like, it barely knows. Literally. Um, that was literally not a problem with the hair at all, like, at all. Like, I didn't ever, you know, get into anything like that. And people were trying to touch my hair and shit. They were in love with it. So, obviously, no one really found that as big a problem as I thought it was going to be. I was just like, oh my god, look at that. It's just poking out. And then I got it installed, and I was like, oh, look. You barely noticed. So that was one of my um, one of the pluses for this. I was very very ecstatic about that. Um, like I said, I will be in inserting some videos. One should be of me showing you guys the hair while wet, right after a wash. Um, you kind of see the small bit of waves coming through that, um, along with me straightening the hair. I'm gonna give you a half and half of a full straight side, just flat iron, and then a naturally waved side from the probably i think i want to say it was semi-dry it wasn't even fully dry on the opposite side i'm not sure which side it was i'm just moving my body so um yeah i'm gonna insert some videos with a few of those actions going on because i want you guys to get to see the process as it was happening i don't remember if i recorded or took a picture of what i did with that frozen bit of hair i'm gonna say i didn't do anything about that or show it Sadly for you guys, I mean, who wants to see frozen hair? Some people. But the point of the matter is, yeah, the hair froze in these like really weird wave patterns, like kind of curled at the end. And it was kind of like, I was so in shock that my hair was literally frozen that I was like, bitch, look. And I wasn't like, oh, let me just take a picture for my, you know, you. Like, that wasn't the first thought. Um, but like I said, that's one of the only cons that hair had to it. Um, I did have a brush on file to give you guys a demonstration of the, um, what is it called? Shedding. Boom. Um, so this hair, when it comes down to shedding, was very minimal. And I was kind of surprised only because the wasps, wefts, damn it, <laughs> were not sealed along with the fact that my cousin did cut my last bundle. I have a very small head. I've been told by multiple people. Yeah, big forehead, small head. Sorry. Um, they told me that uh, my head is really, really small. So when it comes down to putting that third bundle in, a lot of people have trouble. Um, some places I go to, I only have to get two bundles because my head is very, very tiny. Um, I'm so sad. I hate it because I really, really like my hair to be thick, which I'm very, very happy she put as much as she put in here. Um, but like I said, let's just go ahead and do that little small run through. Um, I actually think this is a few pieces are already in there. So I'm going to like, let you guys see for yourself before we get started. And then I'm going to give you a brush through of... Uh, Give me one second. 
One second. Literally, like, had to be a little tangles if you guys can't tell. Like, I'm sitting on metal, metal steps, metal steps, metal um, chairs. So that's a little science for my brush headed. Um, literally. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. Um, I did get this, this brush from like Family Dollar, no, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, it's exactly a dollar. Very happy with that purchase. Um, had this brush for at least a year. Any brush I've ever bought from there, I've literally never broken anything like that. Someone just stole it. Yeah, or I left it. Mm, mm. But, um, so I got a few pieces of hair. You guys can see them. Not sure if you can, but there's a few here. I want to say it's, it's about five. Two. No, oh, it's just a long one. Oh, my hair's long, right? Three, four. Four. Four pieces of hair. That was out of my entire head with cut um bundles, mind you. The last bundle was cut, like I said. And yeah. And we're not even sure if that came, what part that came from, because a lot of times when you do get shedding, crazy enough, it comes from the closure. Um, so we don't even know where this four strands really came from in the hair. It's like, so that's a big thing that should also be looked about. Um, certain places, their closure comes like boom, bam, ready, done. Ooh, that looks great. It worked great, it hit your head great, but then like, boom, it's shedding, and that's the craziest part. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I don't know where this came from, but everything's been working out very well. Like I said, very minimal shedding. Very happy with that because <laughs> if you've had your hair done a few times, you know shedding is like, oh, what, what's, what's happening right now in this bitch. But this hair is been holding up these last two weeks and I am very thankful because um, this is me for a little minute. Um, I do like the natural flow of it. Um, I don't, like I said, use a lot of heat. I am not big on it at all. When I do curl and whatnot, my hair, bam, boom. I wear it for a while, like to wave it out. I'm literally so the waves are like falling. I'm like, oh yeah, I probably should just flat iron this bitch or either recurl, do something. So, um, <laughs> so pretty much with that, like, I'm probably gonna um, end up, like I said, curling this hair very soon and adding those videos in because. I really do want to see that downfall. I just didn't, I kind of, I like the natural, I like the natural um, flow of this hair. Um, I just like how thick it is right now. So I know once I end up adding, I know once I end up adding the, um, the curl, I know it's gonna be a nice thick, pretty wave once it falls, just because of how thick the hair is now. So that's super exciting. Um, I kind of want to curl it right now, just to, you know. I just should I? Hmm. I think I might just. I might. No, no. I just save it. We're gonna save it. We're gonna save it. Uh, I'm gonna save it. All right. So for now, this is all I have for you guys. This is the review that I have for Cranberry Hair. Don't forget that's the hair company, by the way. Do follow, like, and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with more hair reviews and trip reviews. Please look up those trips. If you like them, if there's something you want to do as of next year. Because so far, that trip that I went on recently, the only one I've uploaded for my trips 
um, is a yearly trip. It's the MLK weekend, ski weekend in Canada. So I'm gonna be uploading that and then you guys can take a look at that and see if that's something you guys wanna do. Um, for me, it was exciting, I loved it, yada yada. You can hear all about it yet again in that video. Link will be left below. Have a great day, night, evening, whatever you're gonna call it.